welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming to do a quick and final my thoughts and review on this whole Mimi and Nico video. I seen the sex tape so if you guys want to see my view on the sex tape or hear my view on the sex tape, stay tuned. Okay guys, so everyone knows at this point in period in time in your life, if you don't know, then shoot yourself dead because if you're black in America, then, every, then you know that Mimi from Love and Hip Hop, Mimi Fawcett, I thought her name was, I heard some bit somebody called her Foss, Foss, Fawcett, I thought. Mimi and Nico put out a sex tape and so about a week or so ago they put out a little 45 second trailer and that 45 second trailer had looked really juicy. It looked really, really good. So um, now this week I was surfing on the internet and I saw in one of my, one of my groups that someone posted the link to the full video. So I copy pasted that link and I sent it home and I decided, oh, I'm gonna watch it. I wanna see what this video is all about. So I um, actually decided I was gonna watch it with someone, but I was like, dang, let me just get like a 45. Let me just, let me just look at it at first just to see what's going on. So I clicked the video and as soon as I clicked the video, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Pause. Yeah, so Nico's body. Mm. You have a girl like. Hey, babe. What you doing tonight? Yeah, I was going to the TV. Was to come over. Yes, girls. It Nico body was on point. Um, the the, the video started off with um. Them look like it, it, the video has three scenes. The very first scene is with him and her. It looks like what may be his apartment. Now, through assessing the video, I felt like it was his apartment because it just looked manly. It looked like it didn't have that much decoration. It just looked like barely put together, you know, minimal. It looked like a man apartment. So it starts off with her giving him head. And you know, of course, you see his body, and you're like, whoa! And then you see Mimi doing something really weird. And she's covering her boobs, and you're like, what is she doing? Why is she covering her boobs? But anyway, as the video goes on, um, after a while, it kind of becomes repetitive and kind of boring a little bit. Um, I was, I, like I said, I did watch it with someone, and we were trying to figure out why Mimi was covering her boobs and basically we came up with, the, well he came up with the, the conclusion that the reason why she was covering her boobs is because she was trying to cover those scars underneath. And so you can see later on in the video, she has the scars from um, when she actually got a boob job um, in the video. So you can kind of tell that's kind of what she's hiding. Also the boobs are kind of misformed. It's like they're not, they haven't dropped yet. And so they just look really, really weird. So we felt like basically that that's what she was hiding when she's hiding her boobs. So anyway, um, you know, throughout the video, basically they're just having plain regular sex. Again, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the things that we have to remember is these people are not professionals. So I'm not expecting them to get out there and just have pornographic type. I paid $29.99 type of sex you know i just expect it to be regular girlfriend boyfriend having sex um so yeah the the second scene is basically based with them in a hotel and in this scene uh they're both performing oral sex on each other again it's kind of hard to tell if mimi is really into it because she's you know she's off and on panting um we can definitely tell that nico is putting on a complete show he is abs to the bones, he is the maps. Yeah, it's Hunty. The maps. So, um, so yeah, so he's putting, you know, he's definitely putting on a show. Now, in the first scene, it does look like they have a camera on a tripod, and because of that, it kind of makes it very boring because you, you're only getting that one angle. So, you know, you're not getting different angles and stuff like that. So, uh, what I believe, I believe that particular scene was definitely their sex tape that they made, and then the other parts were parts that were made by maybe Vivid Entertainment or something like that because 
Um, in the second, in the second scene, or in the hotel room, you can, if you look in the mirror, you can kind of see the camera from the side, and they have different camera angles now in the hotel room. So when I get to the hotel room, um, it gets a little bit more, and it gets a little bit more kinkier. Now he's putting his finger in her butt, and um, he's digging in deep, and he's putting his face in the place, and. I don't know, again, like I said, after a while, it does become repetitive and it does become boring. You find yourself fast forwarding through it and I'm like, dang, where the hell is this shower scene? Where is the shower scene? So towards the end, um, towards the end is where she, you, you, she, it looks like he's filming her in the bathroom and she's just talking. I can hardly understand what she's saying. Um, for someone who is 40 something years old, she does have a pretty nice body. I'm sure she has probably had some work done because she doesn't have any stretch marks or anything like that. So I'm sure she's had some work done. Uh, but the whole time I'm sitting there thinking like, dang, what is Stevie J thinking? I wonder if he's watched this video. I wonder what is he saying? Dang, he's looking at his baby mama and just having sex like that. I mean, to me, the video is like two regular people having sex. It's like watching, you know, it's like sitting here watching two people who are in a relationship having sex. It doesn't really with a little bit of show because you know the camera's on. So the very last scene is the, uh, is the shower scene and um, from that scene, you know, everyone was really, really trying to figure out how the hell was she holding up on those shower bars, but basically it's hotel shower bars. So, you know, they're, I mean, shower rod, so it's bolted in. So of course, you know, she's going to be able, you can tell, you can look at the screws on the side, it's screwed in. So that's the reason why she can hold on and have balance and stuff like that. So basically in the shower, they're just rubbing each other up, kissing each other up, and then he goes to perform oral sex on her. And after after a while, I just tuned out. I mean, after, I mean, the video's about an hour long, and so eventually you just was like, okay, enough is enough, like the hype is over, I don't know. But, I mean, overall, how do I feel about her doing the video? I feel like she's an adult. She's gonna do what she wanna do. She grown, she knows she has, she knew she had a kid before she decided to sign up to do this video. She knew what it was. She, it's not like this is something brand new to the, you know, her first time someone's ever done this. So she knew what she was getting herself into. Um, so I don't judge her. I mean, we all do, we've all done things that we're probably not proud of. And eventually she's gonna realize that maybe this wasn't the biggest, you know, this might have been the biggest mistake in her life, or maybe it might blow her up. She might think like she could be another Kim Kardashian. Who knows? But um, I definitely, you know, if I was in her position, I probably wouldn't want to do it. And even while watching the film, I'm just looking at it like, there's no way I would want everybody in the whole wide world watching me perform oral sex on my man like this. Like, I just feel like it would just be for me and my man. That's just, and these are the thought processes that's going through my head while I'm watching the video, you know. So that's it guys. I don't know if you guys had an opportunity to watch. If you have, I'd definitely love to hear your opinion on it or what you have to say and uh, what you think. Do you think it was a bad idea? Do you think it was a good idea? Of course, we all know it was, it was done to help promote the Love & Hip Hop show which should be coming on in the next two weeks which looks like it's going to be the bomb. Oh, I can't wait to watch this show. So Roxy, I can't wait to watch your reviews on again. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.